Hey guys, Lego Builder 4 here, and I'm back with another daily video. In this video, this is going to be the first official I'm Bored episode out of the multiple I'm Bored episodes I'm going to make. This is going to be like a little series that I do because of COVID. You know, we all have to stay inside, and um, you know, at first I was enjoying it. I like being inside. Not much of an outdoors person. But, uh, you know, it's been so long of just being inside that I'm starting to get bored, which is something I never thought I would say while being inside. So, this is going to be a series I start doing, and uh, these are the three crazy little Star Wars figures I made. And uh, we're going to start with Groovis. That's right, not Grievous, Groovis. Not even General Gr Groovis. It's just Groovis. The other two don't have names, though. Just this one. This is General. Wait, no. Not General. So used to saying General, but this is just Groovis. He is an assassin. Yup. They killed Groovis. They made it so that way, uh, he's not much of a cyborg anymore, just a robot. They gave him this giant sniper. And, uh, yeah. He's a robot now. Not a cyborg, just a robot. And he's an assassin. And something that you're going to notice, if I show you at least, uh, you see how that assassin droid there has that little red marking from the final order? They all have that on their back. Well, these two at least. That one and this one on the back. That one just has it in front because that's where the stud is. But yeah, so they're all from the same legion of area. Not from the final order though. Time travel. Oh yeah. So anyway, that's really it. I mean, Groovis has a gray droid body, gray bent droid arm, battle droid arm, battle droid legs, and of course the Clone Wars version of the General Grievous head. And then he has this giant sniper from a rebel battle pack I got. And of course the final order marking, which is this chip, which is going which I have pretended to have the storyline be that that's where all of his memories are stored and everything and yeah so uh this is Groovis. i'm not gonna bother trying to make him stand up it was hard saying it up the first time around as for this guy this is the head of the three of them and uh as you can see he has the two extra general grievous arms i got from the general grievous starfighter and uh he has two gold hilted red lightsabers because this is like the advanced assassin droid now. And of course he has that marking as well as I said he would. He's got black droid legs, gray droid um, body. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word body. It's pretty basic. And like I said, the general grievous arms. And of course an assassin droid head. And the final order marking on his back. Which is also his chip for his memories and his and where his skill set is stored. So, if you get rid of that, he doesn't remember anything. Doesn't know who he's worked for, who he who he was made by, what his purpose is, or how to even fight anymore. But yeah, as of right now, he is the head of the three of these guys. At least that's the little story I did. See, I'm so bored. I've even come up with stories for these guys. As for this guy, um, even though they can't really be brothers, these two are brothers. Deal with it. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, that, that was kind of rude. You know, I, I apologize. Anyway, so he has a super battle droid cannon arm, battle droid legs, which make him look uh, kind of weak, in my opinion, because he's supposed to be like the tank of the three. And I feel like besides his battle droid legs, he, I think he looks pretty tough. I really like this design the most that I did. Groovis, he was supposed to be a joke, you know. He looks pretty stupid. Let's be honest here. As for this guy, he looks tough besides the battle droid legs. Or at least I think so. So, uh, yeah, he's supposed to be the tank of all of them. He's got a Magna Guard body, a Final Order chip, of course. Magna Guard arm and hand. Although, I found out that it's really hard to turn the hand without breaking the arm off not breaking off but like taking it off so i have to like really hold it still in order to get the hand to turn and that's pretty annoying and of course the assassin droid head now there aren't any actual gray assassin droids besides the newest version that has the printing on the head instead of like this kind of build with the two studs 
on top. Um, I customly built this, so uh, yeah. And you pro in case you guys didn't recognize this kind of design, that's because it wasn't a design. I just did it because I thought it looked cool. And uh, I do think it looks cool. Now, should I have given him a Magna Guard cape? Maybe. Might look cool with a Magna Guard cape. Let's test that out. Okay, so I just put a Magna Guard cape on him. And... Yeah, he looks okay. I don't really think it adds that much of a difference to him. I think I just prefer him without the cape. So, you know. That cape just came flying off, but whatever. So, this cape... No. I think it's fine just like that. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'm sorry it op I uh, uploaded a bit later than I usually do. And the reason I know I'm going to upload a bit later than I usually do is because I'm recording a bit later than I usually do. So I apologize about that, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified every time I make a new video. Which is, like I said, going to be daily, so... If you want to see more crazy stuff like the Arm Board series and uh, broken down robots, apparently, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. I'll see you guys all next time. Well, the next time's going to be tomorrow, so yeah, I'll see you then, hopefully.